Hello Geminis, welcome to your October 2017 tarot reading. So let me relay four messages that came out while, when I shuffle the cards and then we'll go into your reading, okay? Um, first of all, I feel like this is the month where there is a lot of things to do. So once again, you're going to be hitting the ground running. A lot of things to attend to. A lot of... Um, they say like mini trips taken, people to see, people to meet, people that you need to collaborate with and bounce ideas off of. I also see many of you traveling with a relationship partner. So like sightseeing, um, seeing like very grand places. So I feel like, you know, monuments, cathedrals, um, places that are a little bit more like museums, like um, places that are very ancient very old and they have a lot of history and i am also feeling like very grand palaces as well so like places that are a lot bigger than you okay such as a big monument a palace a museum or something like a grand structure so it looks good you're doing a lot of uh, you're spending a lot of time with a significant other and you're spending a lot of time especially for those of you who started dating you're spending a lot of time with each other um, I'm feeling for others of you, so this is the second message, it's like there is a child, it could be your child, um, somebody in your household, somebody that like a child that you're living with or sharing space with. I'm, I'm sensing, I'm hearing a child that might be too smart for his or her own good, they're a little bit sneaky, they're a little bit uh, attention, they're doing a lot of attention seeking. And I'm also sensing for some of you, they might be very, very bratty. Okay, so like they might be, they might cry a lot. They might, um, they, they want attention. So then they act up. Okay, so I see a lot of temper tantrums. I'm also seeing a very temperamental child. Uh, he or she might want this today and that's like their favorite thing and then the next day you give them that one thing and they're like I don't want it so they want something else so it's like they're a handful to deal with um, so you know of course with children there's a lot of love here but I feel like this child is not getting enough attention from you if you are single if you are a single parent and you're dating for example you might be caught up in the new love relationship and so the child feels neglected okay it could be real or it could be perceived neglect from the child's perspective but either way the that child needs a lot more attention from you okay they they feel like you're not emotionally available to them and they're going to act up so if that sounds familiar you need to put in the time and the effort to really make time in your life for you know people that are important to you including this child if it's not your child, I feel like it's a bratty kid and uh, you're going to have to find ways to not let the energy affect you. If it's not your child, don't take it upon you as it's your child, as if you need to discipline or you need to teach the child. I feel like there's a little bit of a breach of boundaries here, okay? Third message that I'm seeing for some of you, they're saying like health issues affecting relationships. Obviously, that's not going to apply to everybody, but if that sounds familiar, I feel like the, the health issue, let me see here, which area of the body that we're looking at, um, I'm seeing chest area, the chest area, lungs, um, especially like if you, you know, like if you are a smoker, for example, I see lungs, I, I'm, I'm feeling a lot of phlegm phlegm like in um, walling up in your throat i'm also sensing as well teeth and head okay so teeth like um they're they're saying dry mouth so that might be um the precursor to tooth decay you know how your saliva is supposed to clean out the bacteria too so if you have constant dry mouth it, it means the saliva is not flowing and it can cause uh, decay, okay? So just be careful about that. And I'm also sensing as well head congestion, okay? Um, just be careful about that. I see like pollen. I see a lot of allergic, uh, allergic reactions. I'm seeing a lot of head congestion and I'm seeing phlegm. So you need to be careful here about your lungs and you need to be careful about your teeth and your head, okay? 
Um, I'm also sensing they mention um, health issues affecting the relationship. They're also saying as well, there are some things that you want to tell your relationship partner, but I feel like you're holding back. It's like things that you feel a little bit guilty about and you're just like, I want to tell my partner, but for whatever reason, you're not saying it. And then the partner might find out further down the line and that can cause a big breakup. So just be careful. I feel like, you know, if you um, if you have the right intentions to speak your truth, it's always a good thing, okay? So it, with the right intention. And if you love somebody, you want to just always tell them the truth. You want to give them that courtesy and that respect. And so I feel like some of you are in a quandary. Like you want to tell them the truth. You want to fess up. You want to tell them something that you did. That's what I'm, I'm seeing here. Um, but you're not sure how to do it and you don't want to hurt them and you don't want them to see you in a negative light. And I feel like if you're straddling the fence about this, I'm sensing that they will find out and the situation can get a lot worse. So, you know, honesty is always the best policy. Okay. Give them that respect and that trust. And then whatever they decide to do with the uh, information, that's when you decide, okay? So just give them the information up front and then try to work from there. I'm seeing as well, third message, um, intellectual property theft. Somebody might be stealing your work. Somebody might be stealing your ideas in the work front. Somebody might be copying you. And, you know, Gemini's, they say you're the mimic, but I feel like, you have a lot of great ideas. You have a lot of, um, you're a great communicator. Um, I mentioned before, you know, you want to be careful about who you disclose or divulge information to, who you share your ideas with, because I feel the element of intellectual property theft. And I'm also sensing as well, I'm also sensing some of you are in a position where you have somebody that you're working with that you're trying to get rid of. Like you're just like, ugh, this person gets under my skin. I don't trust them, but you don't know how to. It's almost like you, you have set a timeline. I'm gonna get rid of them when I find a replacement or I'm gonna get rid of them, you know. Um, but so you're just like buying time. You're just buying time until that time frame hits and then you can do something about it which is fine but in the meantime i feel like you're just cringing you're just like i don't like this person so i see that element coming through um the last message that i'm getting here they mentioned that you have lost some friends okay so if you've had like falling outs with friends if you've had um situations where a friend was dealing with some issues in their own life I, mean, I don't mean just an acquaintance I mean this is somebody that you really care about this is somebody you've had you know like an extensive friendship with if they're they've dealt with some hardships in their life and they've been MIA I feel like there's going to be a reconnection there's re reconciliation there's also going to be a lot more contact coming through um, if you're like texting somebody and all of a sudden they're just gone and you're like well forget them don't do that Everyone has their own issues. They don't always verbalize it the way that you do. So don't cross somebody off the list until you know for sure. This is a good month for you to make connections again and reconnect with old friends, especially if they've been, you know, like you're just like, what happened to them? I feel like they're dealing with some stuff and they might need your emotional support. Okay, so try to do that. If they've been flaky in the past, I feel like there's a good reason for it and they never verbalized it. So give them the benefit of the doubt. Okay. Um, so I'm going to end it with that and let me pull out the last card here. Okay. So let's go into your reading. First of all, um, you know, you're, you're the jack of all trades. So I feel like a lot of you might have, you know, multiple sources of income. Okay like a, a main job and a side job. This is the month where if you have a main job and a side gig, your side gig is paying the bills. Your side gig is tremendously very, very prosperous. 
And this is a part about self-employment. If you work from home, if you are self-employed, if you're juggling, you know, um, a main job and a side gig, I feel like this is the month where prosperity will be coming in for you when it comes to self-employment, when it comes to side gigs. And then I feel like this is also the energy. Uh, this usually indicates to me like a regular nine to five, something that we go to work in the morning and then we come home at night. Um, you might realize that it's not making the cut. You might be very worried that you're not able to pay all of your bills. But not to worry because I feel like this situation, we're jumping from a five to a nine. So financially, you're definitely well taken care of. But I feel a lot of you are very anxious like, but what's next? What's the next step? Where do I need to be? How can I achieve financial abundance? So I'm sensing many of you are business owners. Many of you are business owners, self-employed business owners. You might even have people working under your payroll. You know, you have people like soldiers that you, you man, people that you send out to do odd jobs for, or people that are working under you, under your care, under your employment. And you're really worried, like, are we going to be prosperous enough where I can pay them? And if you're thinking about that, the good news is you're going to have a lot of prosperity coming into your business this month. So if there, if you've been struggling in the past, I feel like tr this is a really, really good month for things to turn around where you're making enough money for yourself. You're making enough money to invest and you're also not going to have to worry about how you're going to pay the people that are working for you. So, you know, let those things fall to the wayside okay because I feel like these uh, fears they're gonna be alleviating by the end of this month okay so I'm, I'm sensing towards the end of the month there will be a lot more jobs coming in there, there will be a lot more financial abundance so don't worry about it too much I'm also feeling as well so that's the first thing the first two cards that jumped out at me the second thing coming into the picture if you are uh, if you have people working under you there will be a few people who are just like i gotta leave my parents are old so i need to take care of them so people are going to be leaving as well and you know if people leave that might also alleviate the burden for you but i feel like some people are going to be separating from this work situation and they're going to be shifting gears and trying to uh, you know take care of elderly parents or they're going to be shifting gears and looking for work elsewhere. I'm also feeling as well, some of you might be leaving a main job in order to pursue a talent, to pursue a side gig. But either way, a lot of prosperity coming in. The hangman coming out early in the spread with the hermit in the reverse. Both of these cards indicate to me as well, the period of waiting is over, okay? Um, I'm sensing for many of you, it's almost like whatever has been bogged down, whatever has been like, ha has really made you question, you know, has made you question. It it's almost like, can I trust this person? Are they going to be a big burden for me or are they going to help me achieve prosperity? I feel like you're coming into answers for the next three weeks. You're going to realize, well... Are they going to be on the same boat as you? Or are they going to be supportive of you? I feel like they're removing themselves from the equation so that you don't have to question anymore. And then I'm also sensing as well, for a lot of you, you're going to be feeling very anxious about having to wait on decisions of other people. And so you don't want to be put in that situation where you're waiting or you're, you're speculating. So I do feel like you're going to try to stay ahead, ahead of the energy and you're going to go out and explore and do all of the preliminary research that is necessary for you in order to get yourself to a space where you are a lot more financially stable. So I feel like exploring options, no longer waiting for opportunities to come in, but like being staying ahead of the energy, reaching out, communicating with people so that you can have leads, so that you can have work, so that you can have you know, um, projects that you can undertake. Okay. So I mentioned last, the last few months, I feel that there were a lot of contracts, a lot of people soliciting you to get involved with you, to promote you to, you know, kind of like ride your coattails. 
this is the month where you have a lot of prosperity. There might be that element, people coming in very empty handed and they want you to help them. And you can choose whether or not you want to share this prosperity. Just make sure that the people have the right intentions, okay? And I'm sensing that it's going to be, you know, they're, they're saying like a, a full house here where a lot of people are coming in with a lot of ideas. So you're going to be doing, you know, the meet and greet. And you're also going to be doing this individual meet up meetings with other people to see if their plans, their ideas, their projects, their collaborations are going to be viable for you. But the point of this is you're in a very good position and other people are coming to you with all of these ideas. Or at least if they have been coming to you within the past two months, this is the month where you sift through all of the proposals and you're trying to choose the right ones that will bring you this prosperity. So. Um, going back to that idea about intellectual property theft, because I feel like this is where you have to really safeguard, okay? It's like telling somebody that you trust a very, very solid financial, um, financially lucrative idea and then have that information kind of like ripped out from under you. And you're going to have to, you know, cut ties with a few people here. So if you've been wondering, you know, why would that person do that to me or what possessed them to do it? Well, I, I think it's just greed. I think they were in a space where they were uh, lacking in lacking in, you know, righteousness, lacking in in that sense of right and wrong. And I feel like you had to cut them out mainly because you confided in them, you trusted them. And this is the month where, you know, it, it becomes apparent that they did not have your best interests at heart. Okay. So I feel like a lot of endings here for uh, people that might have stolen ideas from you or taken you for granted or, you know, really try to exploit you. And overall, that's not a negative thing because I feel like it doesn't really detract from anything you're doing. So it had to happen in the timing that it did so that before the completion stage so that you can remove them from your circle or remove them from your project so that it doesn't affect the final crucial stages of the work that you're trying to do. Okay, In the home front, I do feel there is a little bit of turbulence here. This is you operating in a very stern, steadfast manner when you're dealing with people. I mentioned children earlier. So if you're in a household and you have children of your own or you're living with children or you're interacting with children in a work capacity or in whatever capacity, this is you needing to, you know, create a lot of structure. This is you setting boundaries and this is you as well being very firm, being a stickler for rules, being really, really rigid when it comes to sleep time, nap time, um, meal times and things like that. So I feel like a lot of you might have a self-employed business where you are, you run like a childcare facility, a doggy daycare, um, even like a, an old, you know, like, um, what are those like a, a senior daycare center where you're going to have to like deal with people who might have boundary issues or who might really push the limits. Okay. They know how to, they know how to push limits. They know how to encroach upon like, they, they know what the rules are, but I feel like they like to push boundaries. And so you're going to need to be extra firm, um, firm, but not mean. Okay. So you're going to need to be extra firm about this. And the best way to do this is, you know, really reiterate, repetition, reiterate and explain to them why the rules are in place and why them, why, why it's not good for anybody to break these rules because it can cause chaos. So I feel like you're enforcing rules and regulations in order to create stability in a work environment or even in a home environment. So that energy looks really good. So family. This is a card greatly about family. And I believe the, the Taurus people got this when it shows up in the reverse position. It can also be like a dissolution when it comes to like a marriage, a family unit as well. Children, you know, being, um, 
bust between two different household. One household has zero structure and another household might be a little bit rigid. So this is a month where you and your partner or ex-spouse or whoever, you know, that you share children with, you need to decide on a strict structure or you need to at least you know create like a, a foundation here for the children to thrive so i feel a very strong element here about home and family okay uh work looks really really good for many of you if you're shifting from uh, a main nine to five gig to a self-employment gig there's going to be so much prosperity coming through for you and you know you have a lot of uh, gemini people have a lot of creative talents you're a jack of all trades. You might have multiple things that you're dabbling in. And I feel like this is the month where things start to come to fruition. Things bear fruit. And you're going to be sitting on a lot of financial prosperity, okay? Do not neglect your household. I feel like the household needs to be kind of like run and managed with an iron fist. So take your time to really devote this energy back into the family so that you can create that stability, okay? So that is all I have for you. So Gemini's, uh, I hope the reading has been helpful. I wish you all the best. I'll be back with the mid-month reading and I'll be right back with your love reading. Okay, take care of yourself and I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye-bye.